Hello, darling. Welcome to Capricorn season. Welcome to the January 2022 video where we go over the general astrology for January and what I think is going to come in January for us personally and collectively. Can you believe that we are in 2022? Let's recap really quickly here. We are starting off 2022 with a Venus retrograde in Capricorn, which is definitely not as dramatic as I thought it was going to be. I can admit when maybe I jumped the gun a little bit or thought it would be more dramatic than it was just based off of historical events. <laughs> we will see what happens when Mars enters the game and that is going to start at the very uh, end of January. And I do believe that these next few months are possibly some of the biggest time periods of 2022 in general. We have a lot happening these next few months. Make sure that you're watching out because I'm coming out with a lot of videos over these next few weeks talking about 2022 and what else is coming for 2022 and some of the bigger transits. If you haven't seen already, I did come out with your 2022 sign horoscope so you can get your horoscope for your sign. It's on my channel. So definitely make sure that you watch that so you don't miss out. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get into the astrology for January. So like I said, we start off 2022 with a Venus retrograde in Capricorn, Venus retrograded on Pluto. And so we've been really kind of reconsidering our values and reconsidering what's really necessary and what's really important to us in terms of wherever you have Capricorn in your chart. And I talked a little bit more about how that may be affecting you personally, depending on where you have Capricorn in December's horoscope. If you haven't watched your horoscope for December of 2021, definitely go do that because a lot of that is still kind of coming into 2022 as well. And we also now have Jupiter and Pisces, which is just giving a, a, a vibe, okay? It's giving a vibe. It's not as heavy. Jupiter is finally out of the wrath of Saturn. And so it's like a, a, just a breath of fresh air. Honestly, the energy is a lot lighter. I think things will, some of the more serious, like really restricting energies will start to fade a little bit. Now that's not going to be forever. That's not going to last all of 2022. So do remember that. And it won't be all of the energies, but a lot of the energies will begin to fade and there will be, I think, at some point, some sense of things kind of dying down in, you know, a lot of the craziness that's been going on in the last couple years, but I don't think it's going to stay that way. So do keep that in mind. And I'm going to do a whole, like I said, I'm going to do a whole separate video on 2022 in general and what to expect and my predictions. I'm going to talk a lot about Jupiter and Pisces and like the really great sides of it and the really uh, shady sides of it as well. So January, we start off Jupiter and Pisces. And that is just like, I think a lot of the really intense social issues that have been going on and what's socially correct and like a lot of the restrictions on society in general that have been happening with Jupiter and Saturn and Aquarius some of those are going to start fading. You may start seeing kind of certain restrictions kind of dying down or either that or people are just not going to like, they're just not going to like be down with it anymore. It's like people are going to start moving on and that is my interpretation of it at least. But we start off January with that. So there are some repeating themes that we are bringing in to 2022 from 2021. So do keep that in mind. This is not like completely cut off from the previous year or the year before. So we also have a Capricorn new moon on January 2nd, which I'm going to try to do a whole, I'm going to try to fit in a video on that separately. Also, we have Mercury retrograding in January on the 14th in Aquarius, and it's going to retrograde on top of Saturn. And I think that is really going to be a time where we're going to start really seeing like a reflection on a lot of these restrictions that have been happening happening within society. We've just seen a lot of restrictions, right? Whether like actual restrictions, lockdowns, mandates, you know, like a lot of boundaries and walls. That's what Saturn does. It, it divides, it splits things up, it separates, it like draws a line and says, this is where you can stay and this is where you can't go. 
and Aquarius is the sign of the people. And so this really affects the people. This really affects social issues, right? What is on the other side of the line and how do we get there? How do we progress? And it's just bringing up a lot of social issues in general, political social issues, trains of thought involving social issues. And so I think Mercury retrograding on Saturn and Aquarius is really like, okay, hey, we need to reflect on like some of these issues. We need to reflect on a lot of these demands or a lot of this heaviness on people and so we may see kind of like a backtracking around that time to do with Saturnian and Aquarian types of things like I said a lot of social issues and restrictions on people I think that's really what that is going to start off really being about then as we get into the middle of the month we have a cancer full moon which is going to be wrapping up themes or bringing to kind of like ahead of themes that started earlier in the month, really pushing us into getting more in touch with how we feel about things instead of just like putting off our feelings because we have shit to do. It's going to be more of a time of being connected and feeling connected to our emotions and to our emotional bonds with others. And then on the 18th of the month, towards the end of the month is where things start changing a lot okay so around the 18th we have uranus moving direct and so for some people some people may feel that some people may not notice it that much but there definitely is this kind of jolt forward or this jolt of inspiration or this somewhat of a shift in energy at the very least that some people may feel to do with Uranus themes and Taurus themes since Uranus is in Taurus. So it will be kind of like a time of like, okay, we've reflected on what we want to innovate, what we want to progress in some way, shape or form. And now it's like a time of moving forward with that energy. And then also on the 18th, we will have the North and South node moving into Taurus and Scorpio. Okay, and this is going to be a really big deal. Taurus and Scorpio, this axis I describe as like pleasure and pain. Taurus is pleasure, Scorpio is pain. And it's kind of finding a balance between the two and seeing why both are necessary, why both are needed. So with the North Node and the South Node moving into this axis, there is going to be a lot of karmic issues that come up regarding scorpio like themes of like darkness and security lack like toxic behaviors attachment sexuality chaos com complexity and then with the north node and taurus it's saying like hey we want to get to a place where things are more simple, where things are more creative, where things feel more grounded, where things feel more practical, where we can enjoy ourselves, where we can find pleasure, be around things that give us value and like are actually like worth something and get out of all this chaos and loss and all of that. But first we have to heal those scorpion like traits within our collective and within our personal lives to get to that Taurus, you know, North Node and Taurus place and find this balance and see why both pleasure and pain are necessary. So that is just a really quick general overview of what I think this is going to be about, but I'm going to talk more in detail about that in my 2022 predictions video. So then on the 19th, the sun will move into Aquarius and it will be Aquarius season and uh, yeah, things will get more Aquarian. <laughs> but wherever you have Aquarius in your natal chart, that part of your chart will start those themes to do with the house you have Aquarius and will start being a little bit more relevant and apparent the 19th onward but we will still have a lot going on in Capricorn and then also Capricorn's ruler Saturn is in Aquarius so there will kind of be this focus on Capricorn and Aquarius for quite a few months of the beginning of the year so then on the 24th is when Mars moves into Capricorn and this is going to be interesting because then we will have Mars Venus retrograde Pluto and Mercury on the 25th moving back into Capricorn and coming into a conjunction with Pluto and Capricorn. So it is going to get very, like we're gonna have a lot of shit in Capricorn that is like, it's gonna be, we're gonna be learning a lot of Capricornian lessons, which like I've talked about before, deal with our foundations, deal with our structures. It deals with our practical reality and being more realistic, focusing more on what's necessary and like what we actually physically need to get shit done and to do the things that we need to do 
rather than, you know, focusing on just random other shit that really isn't important at the moment. You know, it's like a time of really getting down to the nitty gritty. And so with Mars and Capricorn, Mars is exalted in Capricorn. So it is very powerful here. It's going to be very much about getting shit done, doing the things that we need to do, getting very, very focused on the necessities in our lives and on building the things that we want to build. 2022 starts off with like some kind of serious energy, I would say, like grinding and just like really focusing on how to set the foundation for the goals that we have and what we want to build whether it's like the simple little things that need to be done right here right now to get to where we want to go it's like we have a vision of where we want to go but we have to start like actually building that in the physical world we have to start really taking action in the physical world to get to where we want to go and so it's going to be a time of really focusing on that and i also think that with mercury retrograding back into capricorn around the 25th and like those last that last like week or so of the month, we're really going to be getting some kind of deep insight into something, some kind of deep information, or there may be information exposed, something that we are investigating or that's getting investigated. But either way, there is definitely some kind of deep insight happening or even some kind of deep communication that's getting dug up or some kind of secrets that are getting dug up around that last period of the month that we may need to deal with. On the 29th, Venus is going to finally go direct and not be retrograding anymore and she will start moving forward again and so that is a time where we will really start wrapping up lessons that we've been getting in some area of our lives since November since like mid to end November when Venus entered shadow and so we could see things coming back around from that time period towards the end of the month um, and really just like from the time period of mid-November to like mid to end December, that time period of 2021 is going to come back around kind of throughout this month. So just be on the lookout for those themes. That is basically January. I wouldn't say it's like the craziest month of 2022 or that I've seen, you know, I feel like for the most part, there's some chill energy, but then there is, there is also a lot of like more broader changes, like the nodes moving, Mars moving into Capricorn, which is going to bring up like a very intense focus and action oriented energy towards wherever we have Capricorn in our chart. I would say those are the two big transits that I'm really paying attention to for January and that I would say we really want to watch out for. The nodes change around the 18th, Mars change changes around the 24th. So there will be some new energy moving into 2022, but also some continuations of what we've been dealing with for the last couple of years, but also just the last couple of months as well. So keep that in mind. But anyways, let me know down below how you are feeling about January. And, and if you notice any of these themes coming up in your life or already coming up in your life, I'd really love to hear your feedback. I am working on the January sign horoscopes and also the 2022 prediction videos just for general prediction. Uh, collectively. So definitely make sure that you are on the lookout for those and that your notifications are turned on. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I can't wait to see you in my other videos here soon.